So my first home, uh, my wife and I were living in London, and we, we thought, right, we'll try and buy a house. We had a little bit of money saved up, and we ended up quite a long way out of London. We were living quite centrally, renting. Uh, we had a really good deal on a rental. We ended up a long way out, much further out than we wanted to live, where we could afford to buy. And I was just, I don't want to live. I don't really want to live here at this age in my life, you know. So we just went, oh, sod it, and went and bought a tiny house in Sicily, which is not a great thing to do because we couldn't live in it. But it was a lot of fun, and we still own it, and we love it, and we're going in a few weeks. And so that cost us 30,000 quid to buy a house in a UNESCO World Heritage Site, sort of 20 years ago, or 18 years ago. Um, the next house I bought was a really run-down cottage uh, where I still live, where my office is, and I've just built my house next door in the land that I bought at the same time. So I'd been there for 12 years and lovingly restored that. And, and arguably, you could say totally over-invested in restoring that cottage, but I'll never sell it. I absolutely adore it. And then I bought a barn in an auction in Cornwall for, for 40,000 quid and, and sort of slowly over six, seven years did that up on like, week trips down there and so to go surfing. It's like a little surfing shack.